I understand you can't comment on every third party uh, ad in, on both sides. Mm -hmm. uh, but do you have any regret that it was a board Air Force One in one of your press gaggles that an Obama campaign official claimed a couple days ago that the campaign knew nothing about this man's story, the man who charged that there were some something with his wife dying and that it was because of Bain Capital's actions. I and then you find out that the campaign statement. says they had a conference call with him mm -hmm. and they featured him on the Obama campaign website. I, I, would, I think the campaign has addressed this and I would refer you to uh, their statement. Okay, and putting aside the Romney campaign attacks about it, um, the president himself, it's been said many times in 2008, talked about changing the tone in politics and saying that this kind of negativity doesn't add to the debate. Do you really think at that podium that it's fair for someone to suggest that a candidate's actions led to someone's death? Ed, I, I appreciate the efforts to get me to play uh, political pundit, but that's not my job and it's not, I, I do not uh, have any role in third party groups that produce these ads. I don't, uh, I don't have uh, a comment on that. I would simply say that the president goes out every day, practically now, and talks about his vision for the future. He talks about substantive policy issues. Uh, he talks about the need to help the middle class grow, help increase middle class security, how we need to ensure as a nation that we're investing in education and infrastructure and innovation uh, so that we can continue to grow uh, our economy. Uh, and I would, I, I would simply note that while uh, I know there's an effort on one side of this to conflate the two, to, there is a substantial difference between a blatantly false ad produced by and paid for by a campaign, in this case the Romney campaign, and ads produced by third party groups. Uh, and uh, I have made clear our views on the utter misrepresentation, factually incorrect representation of the President's policy in a Romney campaign ad that is being uh, broadcast in states across the nation to the tune of millions and millions of dollars. The last one, uh, when you talk about the President, and you're correct, the last two days in Colorado, he talked about all those substantive issues. He mm -hmm. wasn't talking about personal attacks. He was on, on substance. Mm -hmm. But part of his vision in 2008 was changing the tone. So the question is, how can he now stand by idly and just say, you know, one of his former White House aides is running this thing that says that Mitt Romney may have had something to do with someone's death. How do you stand by now that you're in power? <laughs> and that was part of your vision before. And I, I, I understand your question, and I would simply say that the, I don't uh, imagine that you are asking the Romney campaign why they haven't condemned the third party ad that suggests the president may not be an American citizen. I understand that, uh, or maybe I better phrase it, I think it should be understood that you know, we are not in control of third party ads. The campaign, and I refer you to the President's campaign for discussions of campaign advertising uh, paid for by the President's campaign. Uh, and then I would ask you to look at what the President's out there talking about. Uh, you travel with us, you know. You hear what he says, you hear the argument he makes uh, on behalf of middle class Americans and where we need to take this country. and. Uh, as a substantive policy argument, why we cannot embrace policy proposals that, uh, in the kindest possible light, according to the Tax Policy Center, would, uh, if implemented, result in massive tax breaks, tax cuts for millionaires and billionaires, paid for by middle class families. That's the dispute, that's the debate, that's the argument the President's interested in making.